Hey, Scott here. I thought I'd uh, show you one of the projects that I just finished up and got working this evening. Um, this is a Tandy PC6 pocket computer in a cassette adapter with the wires that you usually plug into headphone, earphone, and uh, remote. Um, for old 1980s computers, a lot of times when you go to save programs or data, um, you save it to cassette. And a lot of times you just use a standard cassette deck. What you do is use project, you take your tape, pop it in there, and then you'd either hit uh, play or play and record to record onto the tape, and you would be saving the program, and it sounds like a bunch of screeching owls, um, and then when you go to play it back, you just hit play and type load or C load or save and C save uh, to uh, to save and load the thing. Anyway, this is outdated technology, not to mention that this cassette deck has seen much better days. It doesn't quite work anymore. So, what we're left with is this. It is um, a Radio Shack voice recorder that's made to look like an old cassette deck. So you notice it has record, play, rewind, fast forward, and so on. So, I got this so that I could save stuff from my old computers. Um, the problem is it does not have a remote jack, or at least it didn't when, when you got it. So here's the remote plug. It's a little uh, two and a half millimeter. Anyway, so uh, I wanted to have that functionality, uh, so I put it in. Uh, inside of here is a uh, an Arduino Pro Mini 3.3 volt um, hooked up to press record, play, stop, and pause, and it also has a extra button here, the remote jack, and a little status LED. So what you basically do is it, uh, or what it does, is it looks for the plug being plugged in. If it is, it'll turn on and off, whether it's in play mode or record mode, well, you should press this button here to set it. Um, and then it'll either hit play or record. So what I'm going to do now, I have this thing on uh, hold. Oh, and this is just the, uh, the programming header that I kind of jammed in here for now until I, I'm sure that I have a good program in there that I like. So let's turn it on. It's a nice little backlight. You notice uh, init. Okay, so it's got a 13 second long file in there. This saves to WAV file to uh, the SD card. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit record. Uh, SD card which goes in right there, as you can see. Um, yeah, so we got uh, this going here. So you ready P0. If I type, well, actually before that, we need to select a mode here. If you notice the, the light isn't doing anything, I press the button and it just lights up to let me know that, yep, it's still alive. So what I'm going to do now is plug in the remote. And now it is blinking to let me know that it is in uh, play mode. If I press the button, it does this fast blink to let me know it's in record mode. So play record. So I'll leave it in record mode. And what that means is that when... When this turns on and off the remote, it's going to hit record instead of play. So if I go over here and type, uh, oops, save, let's give it a fun name. Uh, how about uh, monkey? O N K E Y. Okay, so that's ready to go. Oh, I forgot to turn. No, that isn't. Okay, so we got this here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter over here, and it's kind of hard to tell, but that's recording now. And uh, my cat just decided to come and say hi. Hi, Sage. Okay. Stay over there. So in this, it's see, ready P0, it's done. And over here, saving, and it stopped. So if I want to make sure that that it's actually saved everything. First of all, let's put it into play mode. Play mode. 
Let's see, just come on. And I type uh, V E R I F Y. Whoops. Getting distracted by the cat. V E R I F Y. So now, over here I'm going to hit enter right now. I don't know if you heard the click, but the relay switched and now it is playing it. And if we look over here, past the cat. got nothing because I set the volume too low. Turn up the volume. Let's do that again. V E R I F Y. And for the record that that's the volume on the cassette deck was always a problem on the old ones too. See? Program found monkey. And this is playing. 10, 11, 12, just turned itself off and hit stop. So that's basically it. Um, we got classic 80s computer. This is a pocket computer. Uh, jammed into a cassette interface, which is probably not meant for it. But that's okay, because it works. And we got a modified voice recorder. With... Uh, So, just so you can hear it, uh, if I hit play. What is it doing? I don't know what it just did. Um, if I hit play, nope. Let's go, uh, well, whatever. Um, so, the, uh, this is running off of, uh, four AA batteries, which are in here. Um, but inside, I thought maybe it had 5 volt logic, but it actually has 3.3 volt logic. Um, and I managed to find a place on the board where it's getting 3.3 volts, namely the backlight. Um, and the way it works is that it's got one side tied to 3.3 volts and the other side gets switched, the, uh, the ground side. So I was able to tap 5 volts off of there, and then there was just a rail that I pulled the ground off of. So I used that to power the Arduino which is sitting in there so it's always on when this is on. See? It's on. If I turn this off which it doesn't want to turn off. There we go. And now the button does nothing because it's not getting power. Um, for the buttons I used the multimeter to find or with a continuity tester one side tied to ground, one side tied to various points on the board and I would press play over and over again until it beeped and I was able to find the pull-up resistors for the buttons, and I was able to hook into those, and I just have the inputs on the Arduino set to tri-state, so that you can still press play and record and all that um, while it's hooked up. And then when it goes to press the buttons, it just switches it to an output mode, ties it low for about a quarter second, and then turns it back on uh, as an input, and that's it. It presses the button. It's really pretty simple. No relays or anything like that in there. So that's basically it. Um, I don't really have a name for this. Uh, probably the... I think I called the, the sketch Radio Hack. Because it's a Radio Shack thing. But anyway, and this is 22 bucks over at Radio Shack right now. Which is a pretty good deal, I think, for a voice recorder. Anyway, uh, that's it. Have a good one. Not an internet video if it doesn't have a cat in it, right? Yeah, there you go.